This one's going to be a quick video. So sit down and strap in. Today we're talking about the Audio Technica AT2020. Is it still good in 2024? And if so, what are the use cases? Now I'm bringing this to you because I've had this mic for about four to five years now and it's still in working condition. It's dropped a couple times. It's had some bangs and bruises as you just seen right there and it's still sounding great still doing its thing and so i thought hey why not give a review let me not give an honest opinion on how it's been holding up for the last couple of years you know what i mean first off when you get your package you're gonna get a nice leather bag padded on top of that it's a padded leather bag all right beautiful quality as you can see zipper look at that no stoppage fits perfect bomb let me drop it for you didn't even hear it drop drop it again good quality right here that's all i gotta say nice little leather packaging for your mic i said this was gonna be a quick video so let's go ahead and plug it up to the computer so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. Okay, so now we've got the mic connected to the computer. It's now recording my audio. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and play you some of that audio so you know what it sounds like. I'm going to switch between the camera audio and the mic audio and you could tell me the differences, right? So. We talked about a condenser mic and what a condenser mic is. A condenser mic is something that's extremely sensitive, so you should be able to hear all the little creaks like that on my fingertips on the table. Um, but as we told you about the cardioid, this has 120 degrees of recording. So the cardioid here, it should sound more clear here in the front versus the back of the mic where it's labeled back. So we could test that out right now as well. So I should sound a little bit worse speaking right now, right? Than if I was speaking here directly in front of the mic, right? And that's just simply because of the path at which this mic is allowed to record information. So again, you need an XLR cable you need an XLR cable to actually work this mic. So that means that you need to connect it to an interface or you need to connect it to a handheld recorder that allows XLR inputs, right? And what's good about that is that it allows you to control the levels on which you record. So I can actually change my mic volume right now. If I just turn it down, if it was too loud, now I could be talking here and it might be perfect or it might be too low and you're having issues hearing me. I'm not going to hear all the little things around me and I have to kind of be close up talking pretty nice for it to sound perfect. And then I can normalize the audio after that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to turn it up almost all the way so that I can speak from a distance and you can still hear me pretty well. Now, here are some cons to this mic. Right. I told you I've had it for about four to five years. I've used it for various things. I've used it for interviews. I've used it for tutorials on YouTube. I've used it for little documentaries where I need to narrate a voice. And these are my personal issues, but it's still something that you have to keep in mind when recording. The S's, is it, it, it's pronounced the S, the S, the P, P. The popping and the S's, they're very pronounced in this mic. It picks it up very, very well. So you, it, it, it will benefit you if you get a pop filter to kind of mitigate some of that. I, I think this came out in 2011 so or 2012. So it's really like almost 12 years later. You tell me. If you think for $99, this mic is not great. It competes with any other mic out there that wants to advertise as a podcast mic or interview mic, and it's 99 bucks. 
not to mention they have a USB version. So if you don't want to use XLR, they do have a version with USB. Now, when I bought mine, they only had the XLR version. Would I get the USB version today? No. Why not, you ask? Well, that's because the USB version, right, it doesn't detach. So if you look here, there's a, there's a button right there. That button allows me to detach the wire, the XLR cable from the mic. So let's say you break your wire, you cut the wire, the wire stretches or bends too much in the wrong direction. Now there's a short in your wire. On the USB version, it's connected to the mic. So if there's a short in the wire, you gotta buy a whole new mic. Whereas here on the XLR one, if there's a short in the wire, I just buy a new wire, my mic's still running strong, baby. You feel me? So that's, that's what I would say about that. But yeah, I said I was gonna keep this video short. So again, it comes with a great leather bag. You won't be disappointed. It comes with this awesome mic that has awesome sound quality. Does it sound better than the GoPro mic? Does it does it still sound good for 2024? Um, yeah, tell me in the comments what you think. I'll catch you when I catch you. This has been Tags with Tags Talks Tech.